Oh boy, uh, get ready for the drones. I just jumped in. We're gonna stop. Like he's moving to intercept. I'm gonna launch the drones. Drones away. Go get him, guys. We're gonna lock on. I don't even have a spectator in yet. Where are my drones just hanging out there? Yep, he's moving. Try to stay out of range of his gats. Bring him back in. Oh boy. Where's my... Oh! Okay. What was that? Did he hit me? I don't think he hit me. He's just floating out there. What's welding up? I got another drone already welding. Oh, it didn't work. Well, shoot. What are my drones doing? They're going away from me very fast. I don't know why my drones are flying away. I think he's still got gats on there. Keep hitting him, I guess. Yeah, he's got some Gatling guns on him. Wonder if I could pick him off. Come on. How hard is this? I think he's disarmed. We took some shots. Wasn't terrible though. Okay, 
I wonder if I get out and get into Greg. And give it a shot. See what Greg can find. This is dangerous. Well, I don't see any guns. That one's blowed up. Maybe we should board. Go back to Crush. I think we can probably sink in there with him and board. See what he's got. Ooh, this is gonna be new. I've never done this. Docking on the move. Can I sink with you? That's a cool maneuver. I must say so. Uh, wrong camera. Okay, let's get back in the seat and we will approach. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's uh, turn off our turrets. Crush all turrets off. G. All turrets. Crush all turrets. On off. There we go. Approaching carefully. Whew. Well, that was fun. Man, I wish I had my spectator. It's like space stocking procedures. About 50 away. How can do I have to view it here? We are relative. All right, cool. Um, I wonder if I can use a landing gear. Uh, maybe Greg. Let's get in Greg. And we'll see if we can't stop him. Because if we stop him, Crush will stop. Greg should be able to do that, right? He's not going very fast. Greg, you're up, buddy. Whoops. Well, that was stupid. Um, shoot, I don't have my landing gear. Can we auto lock? Let's do that. Why can't I lock? Is my mag plate? It's on. It's off. Got it. Turn dampers on. We are stopping. 
to look. Oh, there's a big hole in your ship. Well, I think we pretty much destroyed it. Cool. Um, what to do? So if they're proprietary thrusters, do they give you more thrust? Well, that one's gone. Sorry, Greg. Didn't mean to do that. My first time space docking. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to go over this and just get the bits I can get. And then uh, I guess we'll just let it go. Okay. Well, hey guys, w welcome to the episode. Um, we did a thing. So I just jumped in and started moving and this dude popped up and then I started shooting and then I was like, ah, oh. so I just, um, yeah, let me get this fixed up. Maybe I'll do a proper intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Bearded here. Welcome back to another episode. So you find me on a new ship. Well, it's not new. We just took it, blew it up, but we're going to do some looting. We're going to get some parts and pieces that we might need. I don't really need a lot, but you know, it is what it is. We got this and it was, it was a good time, but ah, I'm a little upset. My drones didn't work, at least not the way I wanted them to. Maybe I deployed them too early. Maybe I need to increase the radius for where they look to attack. I don't know. That's all new to me. So I'll have to work on that. So back to the episode, we're on our way to Pertum. Um, I did some mining on the way, found some platinum, uranium, some iron, some cobalt, some good stuff. Grabbed a big loads of that, so we should be good on resources and things like that when we get to Pertum and uh, settle in. So the goal today is to get there, land safely without blowing anything up, and maybe start laying out a base. So that's what we're doing. So uh, I guess we'll just get started. Let me jump back in. I'm going to get my spectator in, so we have him uh, do some repair work here for Crush. He took a few hits, nothing major. Um, and we'll just take what we need to fix everything up. Unfortunately, the uh, thrusters here are proprietary, and I don't know if that means that they're better or what. Maybe take a thruster to, I don't know. I don't know. So we'll have to just take a look see what see what we can get i might just leave it i don't know there's not much left here yeah i know he wasn't the meanest of targets but you know what it's still a target and we took him down all right let me get busy we're gonna fix some things up you guys okay you guys are okay. I think I left these welders on. I think that was what I did wrong. So I'm going to need to grind this down. Uh, we'll turn the block off. Yeah, I tried to weld it from the back. Okay, now I can turn the block back on. And then when that's done moving, 
We'll print them. And then I heard noises. Light star. Uh, should we move? Maybe we should leave. I don't know if I'm ready. It's, it's a heavy Corvette. Uh, I think we might leave. We got resources. Something's floating around. Let's just kind of start cruising toward her time. is way up here. This is what I was trying to do when I started the episode. Okay. Whew. Let's get let's get clear of some of this mess and then we'll we'll figure out what we're doing. Dang, I don't I don't know. This episode's going to be weird cuz I just kind of jumped right in. So now what do we do? Um I think when we land, I want to put... There's a script that's out there. I saw it. I have to find it. Where you can see damage on your ship. It could give you a... Kind of like a blueprint of your ship. And you can see the damage. We were doing drones. That's what we were doing. Okay. You're gone. Why are you still moving to me? I don't want you to move to me. We'll just watch him. He should be fine. Okay, so uh, drones. I want to print them, and I don't want to be moving because I know that gets funky sometimes with projectors. So we're going to see if this works, at least for printing them out, and then maybe look at the combat block and see if I need to change anything. It's the only thing I can think maybe. I mean, they took off, so yay. We got that done. So I thought I had a timer block. Was this bar? That's just to trigger them. And I don't know if I set anything up for welding them. So let's go here. Uh, if I did. Crush drone timer block one and timer block two. Trust weld timer block. What did I do? Turn these all on, turn my projectors on, and retract the pistons. So, um, yeah. What I want. Crush drone weld timer block on my hot bar. Crush drone weld timer block. You. And I'll say start. So if I hit this, oh, who's an escort drone is moving away. Goodbye. I'm busy. I'm going to hit this timer block and it should start welding both drones up. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh. All right. As soon as those are welded up, we'll, uh, Maybe do another jump and see how close we get to Pertum, and we'll go from there. Cool. Let's jump. Ready? Set. Go. Should we just jump again? I mean, I've got two jump drives. I could jump again and let's see if we can get all the way there. Enough screwing around with just jumping little bits. I have no reason to be out here. I need to get to my destination. 
So let's choose you and we'll see. I should have a marker for her tongue right there. Select that. Say okay. Let's do it. It's only 65% charged. Okay, I guess we'll wait. Let's, uh, what should I do while I'm waiting? Take a look around, I guess. There's an asteroid over there. Ooh, is that silver? That might be silver. Or ice. Let's go check that out real quick. We got time. like ice. Let's go find out. Ice. Well, that's a bummer. I suppose I could get some ice. I feel like Bertram's not going to be very friendly with the ice, so I might get a load. Yeah, let's just get a load of ice while we're waiting for our jump drives. if space ice is better than glacier ice. Is it more fresh? Might be a new business venture. I'm gonna talk to Elon about that. Elon, what if you brought ice back from space? Super pure ice. Okay, we got ice. Everybody's repaired. Let's go see where our jump drives are. Let's do a jump. Ready. All right. Let's get lined up. Cause that's the nice thing to do. Here, we're lined up to go. Let's go to Pertum, everyone. Can't do it in a gravity field. That's okay. We'll just decrease our... Oh, wow. We only need 975. I'm going way too fast. How about there? There? There. There? There? There. Wow. I'm so confused. It's, uh, am I, I'm not in a natural gravity field. I'm so confused. Is it because the, oh, I bet you I know what it is. All right, let's do this. I know what it is. So I believe that the GPS is on the planet. And if the GPS is on the planet, then it won't let me jump to it, no matter how short I go. So I need to fix that by doing a blind jump. So we'll just take you off, remove. Now we just dial it in. So back up we go. 971. We'll go 958. Now can we? Yes, let's do this. We're going to get there. Whoa. Whoa. Well, there it is. It doesn't, it doesn't look very cold. 
In we go. Gravity is the thing. Oh, I don't want to crash. I don't want to crash. I don't want to crash. We're going to crash. Oh, well, that hurt. Welcome to Pertum, everyone. Crush is heavy here. What's our gravity? 1.2. What do we break? Anything? Can we still land? Let's try our landing sequence. We might be okay. Uh, I'm gonna move forward. Let's attempt a nice, smooth landing. Easy. Okay, we landed. We are on Pertum. Well, I guess I'll get out again and check and see the damage. I don't really see any damage. We would hit the nacelles first. Everybody's good. A oh. little bit here, a little bit there. Hey, all my landings, I think this one was pretty good. I'm just gonna say that. For crash landing, that was not a bad crash landing. I think what I'll do, because I want to say the sun is rising, so we'll wait for the sun and then we can uh, we can assess where we want to start setting up, because I have some ideas. Crush is cool. So this is the last of our four planets, and I've mentioned a couple times that we need to build the prospector the original ship we crashed in at the beginning of the series so that's going to be one of our big tasks to do along with setting up the base and i'm thinking here on pertum we're gonna probably center around more rovers because 1.2 g's kind of like the alien planet it just seems to work better so we'll see how that works out i think i could still use the space worm because he's hydrogen powered and greg for a fighter but we'll see Okay, I have an idea. There's some a mountainous area over there, and I don't know if that's a mesa or what what it's called. I'm not a geologist, so I think that's the right word. But my idea is to maybe set up base on top of one of those, because they should be flat. Or s several of them. And then there would be a challenge to get the rovers up and down, but that would be a fun challenge. So let's do that. I think we'll set up on one of those. Yeah, I like that idea. Sun's coming up. Let's get that done. We should be able to launch. One point two G's is real, man. Uh oh, I think I hit something. I hit a rock. 
Man, I need to work on my flying. We are down. Whew. Here we are. Let's get some steel and get building. Well, right there. Greg. Hopefully Greg can fly. Greg, can you fly? Greg can fly. Here he comes. We just got here, man. I see you. Let's do railgun. Oh darn it, I lost my target. Dude, over here, over here, over here. Dude, real guns are awesome. Okay. I'm glad Greg can fly in this gravity. Watch those landings. Another one? What the heck? Come on now. Y'all need to calm down. Sir, Going down or you going away? Missed. Mm. 
Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Dude, will you go away already? That'll make you go away. Half tank. You're not even worth my time. You know what you're flying. How can you fly after all that? Why am I not hitting him? Okay. He's coming back. Crash. Crash and burn. We're going to have to go take him out. your control right there last GPS river crash there we go all right uh, back to home base Oh no. I'm gonna die? I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna bounce. Critical. Guys, excuse me. Woo. Right to the edge. big flat pad that we're gonna call home maybe I went overboard with the size to start with but you know we're gonna make it big this is our last base let's make it right so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go clean that wreck up over there 
That shouldn't take much. Um, and then uh, let's let's see what happens. Let's see where we go from there. So I'm thinking since there's not much ice here, at least that I've seen yet, we're probably gonna have to use the reavers here as a resource for some ice because most of their ships are hydrogen powered. So we're gonna have to think about defenses first up because Crush is doing well, but we're gonna have to defend ourselves with the base. So um, yeah, we'll have to think about that. And then um, we're gonna need the other resources, iron and all that stuff, because I'm chewing through a lot of it, just getting the base going. So, and as far as vehicles go, we're gonna have to have a salvage vehicle. That's a must, a minor vehicle, and maybe some fighters. I don't know if it'll be a tank or if we try to do a flying one. Greg does all right, but he struggles. Yeah, I'm thinking a different fighter. We're gonna have to do atmospheric and rovers. That's gonna be our main mode of thrust in transportation. Okay, that mess is cleaned up. I need to think about this. What am I gonna do? I've got a nice little pad here. We need some production, we need some defenses, and we need some cargo space. And then we can expand from there. So, man, what to do, what to do. How about, let me think about this for a minute and then I'll come back. Let me come up with a plan. I'm struggling to see something in my head. So let me find out what that is. I'll do some building meditation and then I'll come back and we'll have an idea. Ooh. Let's go take a break. I'll be right back. So guys, I think I'm going to end it there for today. I don't know exactly where I'm going to go with the base yet. So I'm going to keep mulling it over. I want to do something kind of cool and different. So I'm going to give that some thought in between episodes and then we'll see what happens. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I do want to wish Keen a happy 10th anniversary. A lot of fun building and doing. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the uh, new engine has to offer and the Space Engineers 2 and all that. That's exciting. I'll be happy to see that come out. We'll have to give that a go. I'll be on that one. Uh, with that being said, I guess um, that's it. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good one. Happy anniversary!